Welcome to Color Field Public Art Studio Series Session 1. Our color field inspiration today is Jeffrey Brewer and the concept of play. Jeffrey Brewer's large works often instill a sense of fun in a viewer. Creating unbridled delight can be a very difficult task for an artist, but Brewer does this with ease. When we look upon his large-scale creatures in color field, we instantly feel happy or lighthearted. A welcome sense of play invites us to interact with his sculptures. Brewer's Bunny is the main inspiration for today's artwork. Bunny was actually the sculpture that first connected Brewer to public art because it was the first large-scale sculpture he made. Brewer said, it changed how art in general meant to me. And he has been hooked on public art ever since. Step one, once you've printed your template, you can start decorating it. Use any materials and colors you like. If it helps, think about how those colors will look once the bunny starts to spin in the air. Step two, once you're finished decorating your bunnies, cut out the shapes. Step three, each individual bunny will need to be cut and folded. Look for the solid lines. You will cut those and fold on the dotted lines. Each ear will be folded away from each other to make a simplified helicopter. Step four, once you are done folding and cutting each bunny, you can decorate the backs of the bunnies if you wish. Step five, although it isn't necessary, you can use invisible tape to secure your folds if you would like. Step six, now it's time for your brewer bunnies to take flight. Pick up a bunny and hold it high above your head and let it drop. Watch as it starts to spin just like a helicopter before it reaches the ground. You can play with your bunny by taking it outdoors on a windy day, setting it free down a stairwell, or placing it safely above a household fan to see if it will keep spinning. I hope you enjoyed today's session and tune in for more next time. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.